see who's next. We've got Daniel. Thanks, John. Um, when did the handout stop? I mean, um, right now, you know, I'm sure some people think when the vaccine is widely distributed, it'll go away. But at the same time, we're kind of implementing universal basic income by monthly vote. And some of those people are going to argue, well, we don't, we don't really see the impact, the negative impact on the economy by handing this money out. And it's certainly popular with certain people. So, you know, morally, who's opposed to just keep doing it? Nobody's morally opposed to it. Nobody. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, the Republicans might quibble about who gets it, right? I mean, I saw Josh Hawley the other day on television, and he was making a big deal about we need to get money into the hands of working working people, working people. Like 3,000 times he said working people. Uh, so he doesn't want it to give it to non-working people. So he doesn't want to increase unemployment benefits, but he wants to give it to, you know, and it's, so it's just a matter of who he wants to give it to. But the money, that's obvious that you have to give it. They don't, the Republicans don't want to give it to the states They'd rather give it to business, right? Uh, because the state, states and localities who need the money are predominantly uh, democratic and, uh, and they don't want to bail out the state governments that are being irresponsible, but they're fine with bailing out businesses that are being irresponsible. And you could go on and on. So I, I don't know. I, I think it'll stop because there's certain people, not many, but certain people, both in the Biden administration and in Congress, who do know that the deficit and debt is a problem. So as much as I think Janet Yellen is not, Yellen is not a great economist, she is traditional enough and to know at some level that debt is not good. So she will be a voice in administration saying, whoa, you, 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 we just can't print up $10 trillion tomorrow and do all these things. Um, I also think that what happens is that once you start doing this, which we're seeing right now, everybody's going to come with their hand up and uh, the Democrats are going to have to prioritize. And I think that, you know, that the priority is going to be rather than giving people checks, the priority is going to be things like to try to raise the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour, which is the same, but it's, it's a different redistribution, different mechanism. Um, and then big spending stuff will be things like green, uh, mini, mini Green New Deal. It won't be the full blown one, but it'll be a mini version. Infrastructure, which of course Republicans support. And I'm surprised Trump never really pushed because he was very supportive of. Um, and, and healthcare. Those will be the things that they really push because that's what they promised. Um, but, but we'll see. You know, if, if the recession continues, let's say because of all this money printing, there's stagflation, which is not out of the question at all. Um, then, that, then there's a good chance that what, what are they going to do? Let people not have unemployment insurance? I mean, they've got into a habit of continuously. They did it in 08, 09. So, so it, it could continue. So as long as there are emergencies, they will write checks. And then the rest of the spending, they'll spend kind of when there's regular times, they'll just spend on regular, so-called regular things. But uh, no, the government now is. Globally, really, I don't know that there's any place on, on earth uh, where this is not the approach. The government is now its job is to bail us out whenever there's a whenever there's a financial crisis. It never used to be. It used to be, oh, we need to bail out these people. Oh, but we really hate bailing them out, but we'll do it anyway. And then if the financial crisis came and you remember Paulson asked Paulson asked for seven hundred billion dollars to do whatever he wanted with. And then Congress said no, and he said, okay, we'll do top. And, but they didn't do top. They did something else because uh, trouble asset repurchase pro never happened, right? They, did, they, did, they, they bought, basically gave loans to the banks. Um, and, and, then they, and then Obama stimulated. And now it's just accepted that as part of the government's role is to bail us out. And that had been somewhat defeated, you know, it, at least in the 70s and 80s, you didn't see government just writing checks. It's, this, is, this is the Great Depression, and now are the, are the eras in which this is the attitude, and it's, uh, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. <laughs>
And this, and you're right. Not only is there no moral opposition, I can understand there be not being a moral opposition, right? There's no economic opposition. Nobody. I mean, I, 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 Jonathan's on Fox a lot. I mean, how often on Fox they have an economist who says, "No, no, this is bad. This is not good. This is bad economics." You, you did. Yeah, I'll, qu I'll quickly just say. I mean, the same commentators who all through the Obama years said this. This was just a bubble that was due to pop. As soon as President Trump came to power, said, oh, this is due to President Trump's wonderful management of the economy. And there was no more talk of any problem with spending or deficit spending of the Fed or anything else. No, it's, it's, so there's nothing. I mean, I said this about the vaccines, you know, it wasn't my idea, it was John Cochran. But John Cochran makes the point in his piece, why, Aren't the free market economists talking about this stuff? And, and you could include, now he's got a piece, his second piece was on debt, because I took that from John as well. And, he's, and nobody else other than John Cochran that I know of is making a big deal right now out of debt, out of the fact that one day we'll have, including the libertarian economists. I just don't see them out there doing the work to get the word out there. And it's, it's very disheartening. Uh, it, 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 they've been completely silent. And I think, I think the reason is ethics, they, morality. They can't just say, you know, uh, the government shouldn't do anything, can't do anything or whatever. They, they, they don't have the, the moral courage to say that. And, and that's been their opinion of Japan for a long time. It's like, well, they, they, the Japanese government shouldn't do that, but they kind of have to. Yes. What option is there? You know, freedom? <laughs> freedom? That's crazy. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Since when has that worked? Yeah. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.